Africa. Now, the short-term outlook for the continent's oil and gas sector remains pretty constrained, of course, due to the pandemic. According to the African Energy Chamber, uncertain market conditions are expected to result in a $30 billion cut in capital expenditure this year and in 2021. CGTN's Angela Coppola takes up the story. It's not all bad news. Southwestern Africa is expected to emerge as the next energy frontier on the continent. The good news is that the projects have not been cancelled, they've been delayed. They have to come back on stream. And in order to get it come back on stream, to get it going again, we need to do a few things. And that's what this outlook kind of brings out and say, and say there is it right now we're going to have a bearish 2020, um, 21, but there can be a bullish 2022. The reality, though, is that the developed world is moving away from fossil fuels and coal. So the global market is going to shift. It doesn't matter what Africa wants to do or what they would like to do. So anything around fossil fuels in an export global context is going to be a declining market. That said, gas has got a much better or longer life as a bridging fuel because it's got obviously a much lower sort of emissions footprint. Everyone's eyes on what's happening in Nigeria with the petroleum industry bull. It's been 20 years in the making. If they get that done, they are going to unleash Nigeria's potential. Don't forget, this is Africa's biggest gas market. You're going to see a massive, massive inflow of capital to re in, in a short and medium term to really drive that African drive again. And, so, and we cannot rule out Nigeria. And once Nigeria gets going, then all the African markets like Angola, are going to try to strive to be competitive. On the other hand, analysts are concerned about the so-called insurgency situation in northern Mozambique. It's not enough to take some bombs and go up there and bomb everybody. It's more complex than that. It has to be use of some kind of force against a very, very dangerous opponent. But also you have to have some kind of inclusive outreach, which would be a mix of, mix of that. And I think it's fairly more challenging to the oil industry how the oil industry relates to everyday people, communities where they operate in. And I think that is a challenge that Total is dealing with. The developed world is moving away from fossil fuel imports, which analysts suggest presents another opportunity. What is important is the just transition can use oil and gas. Um, certainly domestically, uh, oil and gas demand within Africa is still growing. So there's an opportunity for Africa to use a just transition to focus more inwardly and supply its own market because actually Africa's imports are increasing, so we can do import substitution. Prospects for the oil sector are less promising than those for the gas sector. And then there's the renewable industry, which is probably going to leapfrog all the others. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa. On to Nigeria now. The adoption of electronic payments for financial transactions is growing rapidly.